Greetings Shining Bulls and Shining Bears, and welcome to this, the 57th episode of the Crypto Astrology Podcast. Please note that financial astrology, similar to technical analysis, is not 100%. I, Maya Raghavan, am not an influencer. I am not a financial advisor. Rather, I am a financial astrologer, using the planetary positions as data inputs in my analysis of the probable nature of price movements. I do not make your decisions for you. Your decisions are up to you. Shining Bull content is here to stimulate your own thought process as you make your own decisions relating to your own finances for yourself and by yourself. Please do share my videos with others so that more people can benefit from my work as a financial Vedic astrologer. We're going to take a look at what this week holds for Bitcoin and Ether price. Remember that on ShiningBull.com you can get predictive books on Bitcoin and Ether price for this year and for the next few years as well as several other books. These books let you recognize what is happening in the present moment so that you can put current price trends into context and properly understand what they will lead to next. When we look at the planets, we have an edge, and that edge is what Shining Bull is offering you. Now, here are the major movements in the sky that will be affecting us here most on the Earth plane this week. On Sunday, June 9th, in the mid-morning UTC, Sun reaches exact Kendra to Shanidev Saturn in the sky. This should further liberate an upward trend, and this movement benefits leaders such as CEOs and famous politicians being able to move forward with their efforts. Tuesday, June 11th, in the very early morning UTC, Buddha enters into Kendra to Shanidev, and this again creates a downtrend that lasts until Friday afternoon UTC, when Buddha Mercury passes Sun. On Wednesday, June 12th, in the early morning UTC, is when Buddha begins transiting with Sun. And for personal life, this can generally make intellectual tasks more challenging until Friday when Mercury passes Sun. On Wednesday night UTC, when Dev Guru Jupiter enters Rohini Nakshatra, I see that people will start anticipating more liquidity entering markets, such as via rate cuts. However, I don't see this starting an up move until Friday. In fact, uh, Friday, June 14th UTC, the upward trend can start in the late morning when Moon reaches Kindra to Venus and should definitely begin in a more important or noticeable way beginning in the afternoon UTC, which again is when Bud Mercury passes Sun. Please remember that uh, this is uh, that this is when traders can benefit by starting to pay particular attention to any publicly traded companies that start declaring new Bitcoin reserve policies as their stock price can respond favorably to any such decision. As I mentioned on Twitter recently, I also see that Bitcoin and Ether especially can lead markets here and that traditional ind indices such as the SPX can lag and not recover as soon. So those are the big moves in the sky next week. Next, I'm going to tell you a bit more on what I see for Bitcoin and Ether price this week. Please note that the Bitcoin by 2026, Bitcoin BTC 2024 predictions, ETH BTC 2024 predictions for the ratio, and Ethereum by 2026 books are available on ShiningBull.com. You may also be interested in Shining Bull Altcoins 2024, and experienced meme coin traders can check out meme coins with astrology. 
So now let's look more up close at what this week ahead uh, has in store. I, the astrologer, live in Newfoundland, but I give the weekly predictions that I make on this podcast as per UTC time. Basically, I think that I mentioned all of the main moves and I would say that the most important thing to tell you this week is that I see that even though Sunday and Monday look like up days, I see that the general trend for the week is going to be down until Friday. For intraday movements, support and resistance targets, experienced traders can check out the trading signal service on shiningbull.com. Please read the disclaimer in the detail section of this video below. So that was the weekly forecast for the week ahead in Bitcoin and Ether price. And Next, some news from the past week, which will impact the future of crypto and of civilization. So this week, I don't have a specific news story to share here, but I want to tell you that starting on Friday, like I have been saying, there is an important turning point where I see that more CEOs of companies um, will be deciding to take up a Bitcoin reserve policy and that it's possible that this coincides with either unexpected bearishness in TradFi indices or with some really unexpected world news that makes people remember how they felt at the onset of the COVID-19 era. I don't see that that news is going to be lasting or that it will be anything to really worry about long term. But what I uh, so what I mean is I don't th see this being anything akin to a crisis, but it could just be a reason for TradFi markets to correct before the rate cuts. Still, it could be a moment that we look back on in the future as a turning point moment, especially related to Bitcoin becoming a corporate treasury asset for different companies. So that was all for this week and I will see you next week. And sorry about all the, I mean, sunlight is really nice, especially, um, yeah, but sorry for all this. Um, it's a Saturday when I'm filming this and um, anyway, I... Uh, We'll try and figure out how to, um, I, I should have just closed the blinds or like, anyway, I apologize. I hope that this is like, you can see me and uh, hope this isn't too bad of video quality. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Thank you.